Hello guys, is your death mind? Here on the right side you will see the setup we are running with and on the start our tank will defend the um, shrine and our warlock will go to farm and our boomy will take the berserker buff um, on the way and um, if our warlock uh, need help when he get only one incoming or two I will send our balance treat to helping him and if our tank need help I will send our shami von healers will be always the two shami healers who we break off and the paladin will stay when we have to push with two or other people on other base if we lose mid fight or something like that what we don't hope we do but yeah you know guys how RPG can be and yeah that is um, from start and of course the rest of the team will push uh, market so it will be eight of us and as you can see on the enemy team they have two rogues and most of the time when you find an uh, enemy team set up like this then the two rogues will come for ninja cap so it's really important that your defender call for help not too late or it's so easily to lose the base even if they go just with one rogue and one boomy they can ninja cap the base or really they can sometimes even one shot you so just have eyes on the rogue all the time I say this always when we go in mid fight and our defenders sit on the base that they try to check all the time where the rogues are and it's easy with the add-on battleground enemies so I would say let's go I'm always happy to be a TK in this match because yeah I can use Path of Frost so we go over the water it's always nice so what we're gonna do right now here I try uh, to get first the Shami done um, I'm stunning him but the warrior he go directly to our healers so make sure when they have a melee like the warrior here in the case that you make sure that he will not sit on the healers because then the healers can't heal you so this was my first try to cap it, the, f the base, but doesn't work, but it's alright, we go back on this warrior and you see this little buff in the house, always take it if you use all your CDs because it reset it, so kinda you have two times you burst, so just have an eye on that, we killed this warrior, he was way too deep in, um, but yeah this setup is really really danger, um, but yeah, if you go always on the same target, you see, you can defeat the hardest setup as well. Don't forget to kill the seed or you have to kill him again. And um, right now I'm just trying to control the casters so much as I can. And my healers, they're on the flag and they try to cap it. But sadly... Uh, to now it uh, wasn't happening and so I go back and we try to kill here right now um, the healers the priest healer as you can see I'm stunning him I slowing him with chain of eyes just to ignoring him so good as I can as a melee but they're spawning um, really fast again and so I go back I put my big bubble out if you spec it as a deep as a pvp talent it will reduce 60 percent damage if you don't use it as a pvp talent it will be only 20 percent and if you face like shadow priest boomies even paladins just go for it the healers will love you you will stay longer alive and yeah right now here um i see my my team go down and I will not survive uh, really long as well so I say directly all right guys we will not regroup and push again market no we will go up to query why because they are all on market so in query is maximum two 
with our luck, maybe just really the defender, and this would be the rogue. So I say, go guys, don't wait me, just go. And uh, so we pushed really hardly um, the base query, and here's the rogue. So I say to our healer, you just cap, and we will we will kill him pretty, pretty fast. And the boom we just joined, boom, dead. <laughs> and um, so what is really important right now, that we send someone down to shrine, because shrine is the longest way now. And when he got incoming and he's still alone, he have no chance to defend real long, even he, if he is the best tank ever. So that is, um, it's more simple if you have query and farm you can defend this really easily you don't have to uh, three four people on one base but yeah you need to make sure that the forest bases are safe as well and that in this case is shrine it's really danger um, to not double defend all the time and of course when they have two rogues and you don't double defend yeah uh, as I said on the start, it's an easy, easy, easy ninja capping stuff happening. Uh, rogues are also in ninja cap. And with the burst, we all know it, we all feel it uh, even more in Shadowlands right now. Let me know what you think, if you agree or disagree with that. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just standing between query and farm. And that got a lot uh, of pressure for like um, a minute um, on Shrine. And then they said, all right, Shrine is, is safe. And I was like, um, query, not anymore. Um, but we tried to hold it so long as possible because yeah, every second counts. So, when Shrine is fine, it's a long way to go up to help Query. If you see, all right, this base is just lost. Then what I'm doing is, okay, the guys who was with me here, we when we spawn, we go there together again. And we go together and together and together just to hold them there, that they think we are stupid and we're just running in but the plan is that the guys down on shrine when they are fine and ab absolute everything it's uh, chilled i will send them to runes because it will be an easy cap for them because they say all right guys uh they are still pushing query so they will hold here on query three to four people so I say, all right, we lost um, query. It's no problem, but we, so me, the hunter and the paladin, we keep going because I don't want that these guys who defend query, that they feel safe, that they will only let one guy defending because then they can send more down to runes when we push it. And if we hold him here, even if I will not survive long, and um, I know that I will uh, see the afterlife really soon again, but that's the plan, that down the team on Shrine, just go now on runes. And I just say, all right, we have the Rogue, we have the Boomy, and we have the Shami here. So you guys, you push. And um, this boomy, it's so hurtful. I mean, yeah, I don't have to say it, I think. I think you can see it, but we, we keep them there and the plan works. That they, they will get runes in any second. So right now I'm just like, okay. We will go again, um, just to annoy them, 
just to make sure they will stay there. That they will not breaking off to runes. Now we got runes and I was like, okay, just make sure that this guy, he will not go anywhere. And that he called for help. So the rogue is here and the shami is here. And I was like, okay guys, now we need to make sure that um, farm will be alright. We have runes and we have shrine. Now it's a lot easy to defend runes with shrine. And if you have like the three bases and not the middle one, because everyone wants the middle one, because it's the most easy way to defend it, because you can break off uh, really easily. But it's no worries. When you have like runes, shrine or farm and they don't push because they regroup or whatever they wanna do, just get on your mount and stay between the two bases and you will be fast enough to help out. Like you go between runes and shrine and then you have two, three people between shrine and farm so right now here they are still thinking we will push this base and as you can see how many are there yeah we have the two shamis here we have the boomy here we have the rogue here and i was like that's good that's awesome because it's not our base and they are just afraid that we will cap it but this means in the same time that four people what we hold here they will not push any on our base so it's just um, wasting the time from them and still get the points and yeah that is kind of what we're gonna do with I even don't try to cap I'm just try to hold them here and stay alive so good as I can but of course it's not that long as you can tell but it's absolutely fine so I was like, okay, now farm is dan it's, it's in danger. So I said, okay, uh, make sure we will not lose our farm. And they said in the same time, oh, runes. Runes got a little bit incoming. And I was like, okay, okay, um, I'm on my way. So as you can see, it's a, it's a long way. And so I... Go my cutie mount and I'm like, okay, we lost it already. So I was like, it's no point to going there because the whole team from them is there because they just pushed it and they will not push only with one or two people. So I say, all right, guys, we will push um, again query. Let's see who is there. I'm sure the rogue is here and yes, bam, I got zapped. I was like, the rogue is here. Let's try to get him out. And then I see, oh my god, and the boom is here, and the warrior is here, and I was like, hey, okay, guys, just the plan works that three people again coming here, and we, we, we kill them, and uh, you guys, you just push runes again to get runes back, because I was like, I will not survive here long, and... Um, that, yeah, as you can see, it wasn't that long, but we still have people there, so we hold them again there, busy, that they can't break off and help runes. So I was like, okay, okay, uh, so long we don't have runes, I will go back to Quarry and help my teammates out there, so good as I can. And then, just on the way, there was like, oh, we got runes, and I was like, God, thank you. So now I say, just forget query. Hold them there. When you are dead, you come split up to farm and to runes. Because shrine is good. But I still have double defending. But of course, what they will do now, the closest one for them from query is farm or is runes. And most of the time, when they are from query, they will push farm. So I was like, okay, we will just double defend this here. 
I see the time and I was like, yeah, all good. We will survive this. Maybe not me, but we will hold this base. And I was like, don't you worry. So I put my ghoul on the flag. Because if the rogue really, if both rogues will come and sap and everything, the ghoul will be a good uh, saving uh, extra card, if you want to say this in this way. Because he can stun, he can interrupt him as well. And I was like, no, the rogues are not here. So let my ghoul be next to me. Um, and I was like, okay, we got this, guys. Just even we the flag so good as you can even now if we would lose one base it would be absolutely fine because we will win even with two bases i have the add-on capping as well it's really helpful you see exactly if you win with two bases on the end or even with one sometimes when you was two ahead from the enemy team so it's really useful for more videos, just click the info card or subscribe my channel um, to not miss any video. So yeah, guys, I really, really hope um, that you enjoyed the video. I would be happy if you can give me a nice feedback, what you're thinking about our RPG runs. And then I would say, take care, see you soon, your Deathmind.